today's Isley Traditional TV, IT TV for short, where Isley All-Stars are IT. I'm Mora. And I'm Jesse. Today is Friday, February 27th. We will be having pepperoni pizza, taco ole, or Mediterranean hummus plate in our glorious cafeteria. Mmm, sounds delicious. And now we have Mikhail here with a special spotlight. Thank you, Jesse. How's it going, Isley All-Stars? Good. Good. Today's special spotlight is about creating something with our hands. What creation could this be? That's the one. Our clay projects and art. Let's go behind the scenes now with Mrs. Wynn. So this room is where all the clay projects are stored, so if you follow me. Uh, right now, uh, fourth grade has been working on an owl project, so in this stage it would be called leather hard. The clay is basically halfway dry and it's still wet, but it's strong enough to support itself. So you'll notice if I'm touching that it barely moves because it's leather hard. And if you look here, um, after, when it's leather hard, you have to leave it alone for about three days to a week for it to be bone dry. So this allows it to be exposed to air and all the water is evaporated out of the clay. Once it is bone dry, it goes into the kiln, which is like an oven for clay projects. So, so then clay pieces would be placed inside the kiln until most of the bottom is carried and then you'll notice these little things right here um the reason that these stay on here they work as like a tripod to put shelves on top so this is the first row of all the clay stuff and then for the bottom is Mostly filled up. The shelf right here. The shelf goes inside of the kiln. So I have to carefully stick that on. So if it's wobbling, that means it's not it's not very stable. But that shelf, do you see how it stays on there? Then I do the same thing, but on the other side. I don't want to move these, so when I put um, the shelves down, they don't wobble. Because if the shelf falls down, it will destroy the clay pieces, which we don't want. So, I have to do this very carefully. I don't know if you can see that. So now, once the shelves are on, I can put more clay pieces on top. And then it just keeps going until it fills up right about up to here. We are quite the artists here at Isley. Be sure to tune back in to IT TV for what happens next with the clay. Also, after we sign off, watch for some important dates to put on your calendars. Sounds great, Mora. Let's join the first graders in Mrs. Long's class saying the Isley Pledge, and then we'll join Miss Katie's fifth graders for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hey, that's my class. I am an Isley All-Star. Today I will do my best. I am proud of who I am and who I will become. I am not here alone. We are a team and together we will make us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Say, shoot for the moon, Isley All-Stars. Tag, you're it.